Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best mechanical gaming keyboards under $100. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about these mechanical gaming keyboards, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button, and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the Red Dragon K552. Mechanical keyboards are considered as the best kind for gaming and typing purposes, however there's a general understanding that mechanical keyboards are generally very pricey, which most of the buyers don't even try to research. However, some mechanical models are under the $100 price and deliver immense value, giving you the amazing mechanical keyboard performance. We're going to start this with an ultra-affordable one, coming in from the peripheral manufacturer Red Dragon. It's the K552. This may not be the most feature-rich keyboard on the market, but what it does, it does perfectly, as it ticks all the boxes for a budget mechanical keyboard, and it's also one of the most popular choices on Amazon. The Red Dragon K552 is equipped with mechanical key switches, compact 10 keyless design, sturdy body that'll last you a lifetime, LED backlighting, and a lot more. It's a pretty fail-safe choice. Like all 10 keyless keyboards, the Red Dragon K552 as well doesn't try to take your attention with its looks by adding any flair or tricks to the body, nothing to distract you from its performance or your gaming. There are just the LED lights that may take away a little bit of your attention, but they're the standard for gaming keyboards for years now, and overall it's still extremely clean. The Red Dragon K552 comes available in two paint jobs, white and black, and you can even get it with RGB LED lights for added customizability. The build quality of this keyboard is amazing, sturdy and durable, thanks to its combination of aluminium and hardened plastic, which is pretty soft to the touch, despite being rather durable. The keycaps too are of the highest quality, as they're built from high quality plastic, and overall I can say that it's a pretty premium device, despite its price. From my standpoint, I can say that this keyboard will last you a long time, and thanks to its spill-resistant body, you don't need to worry much about it. As I said earlier, this isn't the most feature-rich keyboard on the market, but it has some useful features such as the N-key rollover anti-ghosting feature, and its substantiality combined with its rubber feet that don't let it move around much on the desk. Thanks to its custom mechanical key switches, the Red Dragon K552 delivers plenty of performance. Its keys are pretty similar to the Cherry MX Blue ones in terms of performance and feel, perfect for fast-paced games such as MMO, RPGs and FPS. However, it delivers a great typing experience as well. At number 4, it's the Logitech G413. Logitech is one of my favourite gaming peripheral manufacturers, since the company through the years has delivered some excellent models, especially mice and keyboards and all of their products have delivered excellent value for their price. The Logitech G413 is no different as this keyboard is equipped with Roma G mechanical switches, has a pretty attractive design, extra keycaps, sturdy build quality thanks to its aluminium construction and is still under $100. I'm pretty pleased with the design of the Logitech G413 as it sports some industrial aesthetics that are pretty attractive. It achieves this by employing the floating keycap design and the solid aluminium magnesium alloy plate that shows no weakness overall. The bottom plate is made out of plastic, but it still feels pretty sturdy and durable due to its diagonal lines that are designed for the purpose. The carbon black back plate with a red back lighting looks amazing, and the floating design just makes the keyboard easier to clean up. While it has a full set of keys, the device is pretty slim as it measures 17.5 by 1.4 by 5.1 inches in total and weighs just 2.43 pounds. The Logitech G413 doesn't have dedicated media buttons or macro keys, however with the FM button you can activate the F keys up top to do the same purpose. It also supports USB 2.0 pass-through, which is not the most ideal choice, but I found that the connectivity is pretty safe and quick even if it would have been nice to have a USB 3.0 connection. The main selling point of the Logitech G413 is its use of Roma G switches that deliver a pretty responsive and silent experience. They provide a rather strong tactile feel at the bottom of the 2.5mm key travel, but it didn't require much force to press. Perfect for fast-paced gaming, the Roma G switches are the most attractive in the market as they're tested to last at least 70 million key presses. And even so, in the package of the Logitech G413, you'll spot 12 keycaps if you need to replace them. The Logitech G413 provides the most bang for your buck. 
At number 3, it's the Master Keys Pro S. Cooler Master has delivered some interesting peripherals recently and some good mechanical keyboards, however they have one just for our list, the Master Keys Pro S which is under the $100 price. This keyboard has a 10 keyless design, Cherry MX key switches, a good construction, RGB lighting, compact and lightweight but durable body and much more. The Master Keys Pro S is a pretty hefty keyboard that feels substantial and sturdy, but from Cooler Master you can't expect anything less than perfection in the quality department. There's a sturdy metal frame inside the keyboard that's covered with plastic, but not just any plastic, a high quality one that's pretty strong. It has quite a small form factor but has quite large keys with just pretty slim bezels around them to complete the industrial design. However, it's worth mentioning that it has no wrist rest included. On the back you'll spot the micro USB port that's used to connect it to your PC, the included cable is braided and has an L shape on the micro USB port. On the keyboard you'll also spot the function key that's used to toggle the macro and media functions of the keyboard as well as the lighting modes and colour modes. For the media controls, you'll use the insert, home, end, delete and page up and page down keys combined with a function key. Performance-wise, the Master Keys Pro S provides plenty with its N-key rollover, anti-ghosting and near-to-zero latency which is very welcome in the gaming world. You can get this keyboard in three different versions of the Cherry MX keys, brown, red and blue. All of them deliver amazing performances and are top of the line and the gold standard of mechanical key switches. We tested the Cherry MX Brown version and it delivered a perfect performance for your authentic mechanical experience with a tactile feel and fast response. This keyboard will be useful with many games you choose to play and it'll also deliver plenty of performance while typing. At number 2, it's the HyperX Alloy FPS. HyperX has made waves in the market with their excellent gaming focused peripherals and are becoming fan favourites for diehard gamers. They've manufactured a wide range of keyboards, but their most notable model, the HyperX Alloy FPS, is built for speed, for first-person shooter games to be exact. Since it's received a price drop, it's become a pretty desirable keyboard for those exact gamers, as it delivers excellent RGB lighting, perfect in-game performance and great mechanical key switches. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. The HyperX Alloy FPS comes as a full-sized keyboard, however it doesn't have a huge footprint as it measures just 174 by 51 inches in total, which is as small as a full-sized keyboard can go while still offering perfect performance. Like most of the keyboards in this list, it has a pretty modest and unassuming look without a wrist rest, no dedicated media keys and no macro buttons, but this keyboard is designed and manufactured for fast-paced gaming so we can't complain. The power cable is detachable as on the aforementioned Cooler Master model, making it the perfect device to carry to your LAN parties. On the keyboard you'll find a USB pass-through which is perfect for charging up your devices such as phone or tablets, but we'd like it if it worked with your mouse too. The HyperX Alloy FPS utilizes Kali Silver Speed Key switches instead of Cherry MX ones, but these function the same if not better than the Cherry MX Speed Key switches which are known for being linear and pretty responsive perfect for FPS gaming. For typing, these switches were not the best as I made more mistakes during typing compared to other mechanical switches, but then again they aren't designed for typing. This keyboard runs with a HyperX Ingenuity software which is top of the line and one of the best in the market as it allows for excellent customizability and personalization of your keyboard and the experience as a whole. You can set individual profiles for each game that you play and it was very convenient and useful to do so. If you're an FPS gamer, this keyboard is perfect for you. And at number 1, it's the Techware Phantom 87. On top of our list, we find another interesting mechanical but very affordable keyboard, the Techware Phantom 87. The brand might not be a household name, but for the money, it delivers more than you'd expect. It's a 10 keyless keyboard with a small and compact body, pretty light, beautiful design, not so many features, but for the price, just perfect. This amazing keyboard measures just 15.8 by 7.4 by 2 inches, which is pretty small and great for portability and utilizing it in small spaces. On the bottom of the keyboard, you'll spot four rubber feet for stabilizing it and the keycap puller. Overall, I can say that the company has achieved a pretty cool and minimal look with this device and everything is so well thought out, something very rare in the budget range. 
The Techwear Phantom 87, built on a plastic throughout, has utilized a pretty high quality plastic as it feels pretty substantial and sturdy. You can choose one of the 18 LED lighting modes that can be activated or swapped by pressing the function button and one of the F keys up top. On the company's website, you'll find software for the keyboard, however, it's not a refined software as it's a little buggy and not as responsive. This keyboard utilizes Altemu mechanical switches that are custom made for this one, and you can select one of the variations, blue, red, and brown, which deliver a great experience. Each one is perfect for a purpose, but for gaming, I'd choose the red ones, as they deliver a great fast-paced gaming experience for FPS and MMORPGs. While it's not the most feature-rich keyboard in the market, the Techwear Phantom 87 delivers plenty of performance for its extremely affordable price. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.